In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see about the iron oxidizers. Some bacteria are able to obtain energy by the oxidation of ferrous iron. Iron oxidation is a typical physiological pHs that is near neutrality can able to occur spontaneously in the presence of oxygen. Interestingly, the iron oxidation process can also be carried out by the bacteria living in the environment which is having a very low pH or very low oxygen concentrations wherein ferrous ion is present in a reduced form and dominatively. Two different kinds of iron oxidizers have been recognized there in the environment. The first category is the one which lives in the acidic pH. Here the classical example is acidithiobacillus ferroxidans which actually occurs at a low pH. This bacteria grow in association with the other acidophilic sulfur oxidizers that are capable of sulfur oxidation under acidic conditions. So in this environment ferrous ion will be present abundant and this bacteria can able to use it as a energy source for their growth and metabolism. The next group is the one which grows at a neutral pH. Here the classical example is a Gabionella ferrugina that grows at a very low concentration of the oxygen. This bacterium lives in iron springs where it appears as a mass of twisted filaments that appear reddish brown from the form of the ion that have been dominating that is hydroxide form of the ion dominates that gives a reddish brown coloration there. This bacteria produces stalk like structures that can be easily visible when you are observing there in the microscope. These stalks refers to non prosticate appendage like structures that will be commonly present there in the Gabionella. Inside this stalk the iron will be deposited there that is oxidized form of iron will be deposited. So those iron oxide encrusted stalks can be easily visible when you are observing in the microscope. Gabionella ferruginia is a hemoautotrophic iron oxidizer that belongs to alpha proteobacteria. It is very difficult to obtain this organism there in the pure culture. However, physiological studies with this group of organism clearly indicates that they are true hemoautotrophic in nature and they have the enzymes necessary for the Kelvin Benson cycles functioning. There is also another group of iron bacteria referred as Leptothrix which produces filamentous sheath that can become heavily encrusted with hydrated ferric as well as manganese oxyhydroxides. However, this organism is basically a hemoorganotrophic in nature. If we technically define sheath is they are hollow cylindrical structure made up of predominantly of a encrusted ion and possibly the manganese oxyhydroxides that surrounds a chain of cells. Sheath is closely fitting but not in intimate contact with the cells. So the bacterium may move out of the sheath leaving the preserved cast outside. This kind of a structure could be formed there in the leptothrix.